Baseball in the Burrows is brought to you by Verizon. All right, let's talk about the Yankees' 6-4 loss to the Rays in the start of the second half of their season with Ryan Garcia, Yankees content creator for Empire State Media. My man, welcome back, my guy. Oh, I like the shirt, too. Look at you, man, looking spiffy. All right, uh, let's get straight into this one, man. Uh, Aaron Boone went with the lineup change. He benched DJ LeMahieu for Oswaldo Cabrera, trying to generate some sort of offense. Did Cabrera take advantage of the opportunity, and what are your thoughts about the loss? Yeah, I mean, Oswaldo Cabrera, he hasn't had what you would consider a great season, but he is much closer to being a solid hitter than DJ LeMahieu has been. Oswaldo Cabrera is 19% worse than the league average, according to Weighted Runs Created Plus, which is a stat that takes into account all kinds of offense. You know, how many total bases you get, how often you walk, all that kind of stuff. DJ LeMay is 56% worse than the league average here this season. So when we're talking about that big of a change in offense production, Cabrera doesn't have to be stellar, in my opinion, for him to get reps over DJ LeMay at this point. And he does bring a little more athleticism and speed on the base paths, which the Yankees really struggle with. I mean, outside of Cabrera, there wasn't that many hits from the team outside of Judge and Soto. So what's left for Aaron Boone to do to generate some more bats, man? Do you think that the LeMahieu uh, changeup is the only lineup change we see going forward? Yeah, and, you know, to your point, Aaron Boone can only do so much. 50% of the Yankees' home runs over the last 30 days have come from Judge and Soto. That's not great. You can't have half of your offensive production in the home run department coming from two hitters. And then in regards to lineup changes, Aaron Boone can try everything he wants to. I don't know if anything's going to uh, necessarily shift things in the right direction. They've tried to put Wells forth. I think that's a change that could help them. Uh, but it comes down to Brian Cashman going out and getting the right pieces at the trade deadline. Ryan, how big is it for the Yankees to get a win tomorrow and tie this series up before they head into the Subway Series? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, they took that series in Baltimore, but Sunday was such a missed opportunity. And then you take the first game of the series, you feel like, all right, let's go on a roll here. And now you've dropped two straight. So the Yankees need to rebound. They need a big start from Carlos Rodon tomorrow. They need to find a way to tie the series up and avoid getting another series loss. They're 1-7-1 and one in their last nine series played. Mm -hmm. You want to at least keep it at a tie and not another series loss. All right, Ryan, tell the people they can find you, my man. Yeah, you guys can find me at Ryan Garcia ESM and Fireside Yankees for more Yankees content. All right. Thanks for joining us, bro.